I hear all the time that chivalry is dead. <laughs> Bullshite. All right, well, maybe. If you can't kill them with kindness, do it with steel. What's up, folks? My name is Tanner, and today we're going to be taking a look at Chivalry 2, the long-awaited sequel to the highly praised medieval warfare game that I played uh, one or two games of. I, I can't remember. Now, I did not pay the $40 price tag as my code was given to me by the developers, so, of course, I'm doing a giveaway. Comment below your favorite medieval game movie, hell, even book, I don't care, just tell me something medieval. And then a winner will be picked randomly seven days from the release of this video. Is Chivalry 2 worth $40? Well, let's find out. Now, do you guys play, or better yet, do you guys buy Chivalry for the story? Like, is that a thing? Because it's got a story, but like in the form of lore and some videos you watch in the main menu, lore on the Agathas, the Masons, a world map. Like I said in the intro, I didn't game Chivalry like that until this new one, so I was a tad lost, but you know, luckily this one has like a little catch-up thing, so I read and watched quite a bit. But, and, and let me say this, this game is honestly got some solid and intriguing lore. Like, it reminds me a lot of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now, I don't know why, that's just the vibe I got from it. It's very well written, and though there's no legit story mode for me to enjoy your game, this sufficed as if there was one, which I'm actually surprised. Like, I do love lore, but this was awesome. So, next up, let's go to the heart of the series, Gameplay. Chivalry 2 is perhaps one of the most honest games I've ever played. Like, you watch the trailer for this game, that is exactly what you're getting. Maybe some rough edges here and there, but gameplay-wise, you see it, you do it. Now, this game takes most everything we know about medieval warfare and puts it into a giant battlefield. The game features different classes to cradle whichever playstyle best suits how you want to enjoy the game. Archer, it's exactly what you think. A free kill. Okay, no, for real though, the archers get bows and crossbows, obviously, and these, if they hit an enemy, they do some nasty damage. Now, I remember I went on a rampage with a bow, and honestly, I felt like medieval John Wick for like a straight minute, and then I died. And that's because these guys are super weak, which is why I joked about them being a free kill. I mean, they are able to carry a blade, so you can have some one-on-one -on -one action, but you're going to have to switch super fast to that blade if you're going to want to have a chance at that. We also have footmen, knight, and vanguard for our melee classes. They have things like battle axes, maces, swords, spears, and different variants of those four types of weapons. Now, the combat in part one, from what people say, uh, to me, I basically take it as it was a meme with spamming attacks. Now, I don't know. I can't speak on it. But the combat in this one was damn fun, and it just felt great. It's, it's not a bunch of people spamming. It's literally a battle of attrition. Block the enemy's attacks, break their block, and then let the blade handle the rest. Now, things that made this battling more interesting is a dodge mechanic allowing you to side and backstep, Three different attacks that deal different amounts of damage. You can fake attacks, crouch so the blade goes over your head, then come up like Rocky and rock their shit. I, I never found the combat in this game to be unfair either with the level advantages and whatnot. So people with higher levels, they do have better weapons that can deal better damage. But if they can't pull out some skill, then that weapon means absolutely nothing. It's about learning the class and the weapons you're using. Get an understanding, and you can honestly be an unstoppable force at a low level. Now, aside from your formal combat, there is uh, other, how do you say, over-the-top cheese fest mechanics. You can grab things like tankards, bells, candle holders, fish, severed heads. I mean, you grab tons of stuff, and you just beat the living shit out of people, or throw the items at them like you would your spear or sword, and just kill them all. Now, I definitely had a blast lunging some rocks onto people's heads, and of course, I was killed by barrels more time than I'm actually going to admit to you all, but, you know, it was a fun time either way. Now, one thing with chivalry that should come as a warning to people, and of course, I knew this going in, but some may not. If you do not like being double teamed, triple teamed, quadruple teamed, I mean, look, I've had 8 to 10 guys on me at once, and that ended terribly for me then this might not be your game. I mean, there's nothing fair as far as 1v1s. Like, I play a lot of For Honor, and it's expected in that game, at least from my friend group and a lot of the community we play with, to honor the 1v1s. No, with this game's community, I, they do not give a fuck. That's an aspect that honestly kind of made this game enjoyable for me. It's funny to watch five people attack you, and then you block all their attacks, and then your team just comes in from behind you and saves the day. It's a truly 
epic moment. And this game is filled with all kinds of moments like that in just about every match you've played. Now, also, I want to apologize for this review being late. Of course, life happens, but I saw some people like, you know, Game Ranks, who I thoroughly enjoy, they had their thoughts out the second they. Uh, of course, I don't know how long they had this game beforehand, but one of the reasons that it it honestly took me a while to review this is the leveling system in this game is a vigorous grind. I have tons of hours in this game, and my global level is only 13. Then you have weapon level and class level. Now, I mainly use knight, and I'm only level 11, and I was also a heavy sword and axe user, so I leveled up those two. All these levels are for the purpose of customizing your characters and your weapons. This game has a good amount of ways for you to customize your characters, as you can see. Now, for customizing the character, you have to level up your class rank. So, if you want to get more armor as a knight, upgrade the knight so on and so on as for the weapons you're going to have to level up the weapon rank axes swords hammers etc now the way to level these up is to have technique to your fighting counter uh, blocking landing attacks i mean play the game with some style and honestly leveling up the weapons is going to be a cakewalk uh, your global level is more for things like patterns on your armor, uh, facial customizations, and very few weapon and armor uh, skin variations. Now, lastly, there are three game modes in Chivalry 2. 64 players, 40 players, and free-for-all. Free-for-all is the only one that's different. It's just a giant bloodshed where you attack any and everything you see moving around you. I mean, cheap shots or not, all bodies, dead or alive, are fair game on that field. Now, 64 and 40 player modes are team-based modes that have bigger maps with objectives, such as stealing gold, killing the duke, killing villagers, uh, breaking walls and gates open, or just simply defend. So if you're an attacker, you're going to have about five objectives per match, and you're also going to have a timer to do these objectives, one at a time. And if the timer is up before you complete the objective you need to as the attacker, you lose that game and the defenders win. I thought the different variants of objectives were diverse enough to make every match feel different, adding on to the fact that the teams you're playing as always were shuffled around so you weren't getting used to fighting the same people over and over. Overall, Chivalry 2 has some of the most enjoyable PvP I have partook, partake, partook in in a long time. Like, I'm a pretty big PvP fan. I play tons of shit all the time, but nothing quite like Chivalry. Of course, yes, I, I know we have Mountain Blade and Mord Howl, but uh, I couldn't get into Mord Howl, and I never played Mountain Blade. So, Chivalry, you are at the top for medieval PvP games for me. Or, if you don't like playing with randoms, you can just hop into a game with strictly bots, you know, because we have those kinds of options in here. Now, of course, with my love for this game come some issues. Minor ones would be uh, the character customization. It's It'll bug out sometimes, so you can't see your character customizing. It'll be an overlap character on top of the one you're trying to customize. The spawns in this game aren't the best. I've seen people spawn in fire and restricted areas. And let me tell you, the text chat, when that happens, is lighting up because they are so pissed. And the biggest bug I had was I fell down, and when I got up, I couldn't see my weapon in my hand. I could see my hands, I just had no weapon, even though it was in my inventory. I couldn't attack, I couldn't grab another weapon, all I could do was run. I saw somebody else in the text chat had this same thing multiple times. Eventually, sometimes it does fix itself, but in my case, when it fixed itself, it was too late. I had already got decapitated. So, over-the-top enjoyment, yes. Perfect? Uh, no. It's got rough edges that need some fixing. Now, I remember playing the little bit I did of the first Chivalry, and graphically, I wasn't too impressed. Yeah, I do get it, though. I'm not going to be that guy. That game didn't have some huge pile of cash behind it. It was a budget title for the people, and everyone, for the most part, loved it. How Part 2 looks after me remembering Part 1, it completely blew my socks off. I mean, graphically, this game's not the next God of War. But for what this team had, these graphics are beautiful. The only issue I would say I had with the design of the game is that some of the cutscenes before the matches start, the voice acting is too quiet. As if uh, like a person is talking on stage with a mic, but the mic cuts out. That's how the cutscenes will sound sometimes. And another issue, which... <sighs> I can't say 100% if it's actually broken or not. I, I, I don't think voice chat works in this game. I tried to use voice chat. Nobody responded. I didn't hear anybody in voice chat my entire time playing. Look, maybe nobody wants to talk to for your money. It's fine. It's fine. I get it. I get it. I get it. But just be aware that that might actually be an issue because it might be broke right now.
The sound of steel clinking together while you're running through the battlefield woke something in me every time that got me hyped to rush into battle, no matter the outcome. Like, I was ready to fight, dead or alive, I was ready. So, without further talking, here are some clips of the overall design. To me, Chivalry 2 is worth $30 out of $40. This game really took me by surprise as my expectations, I mean, weren't high. Like, there was, I had no expectations. I got the alpha code for this game twice and no square inch of me wanted to game it. And here I am finally at release, finding myself addicted to this game and it's over-the-top blood-soaked action. Not perfect, which was never expected from me with any game, but what they delivered here was more than an adequate PvP title that I know will be getting support for the coming years because I just watched E3 and they said that. So yeah, I took off money for bugs and whatnot, but I am 100% positive all of those are going to be fixed in the coming months. Don't forget to check out my new For Your Money merch. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed the video. If not, I deeply, deeply, I'm sorry. And I will see you all on the next go round.